We're here with Mark Lobstein, Director of Technical Services for USA Poultry and Egg Export Council. And Mark has just given a speech at the Poultry Processor Workshop in Atlanta, Georgia. Mark, uh, can you give us an update on U.S. efforts to reopen the Russian market after its ban of U.S. poultry? Well, thanks, Gary. It's a pleasure to be able to comment. Uh, the two governments, U.S. and Russia, have been continuing conversations and discussions on market access for U.S. poultry products due to the current restrictions uh, in place since January the 1st. Russia has uh, imposed restrictions on the use of chlorine um, in excess of their sand pen regulations for drinking water. And it's my understanding that both governments are continuing the discussions uh, in Russia and uh, exchanged correspondence in the U.S. Uh, to see if we can't get that market back open. Well, China is another huge export uh, market for U.S. poultry. Uh, where do we stand there? Well, we currently consider uh, China as our, our leading market for poultry products uh, exported from the United States. Um, we continue to, to uh, encourage our government to uh, allow cooked poultry access uh, for the Chinese to the United States in hopes that uh, similar restrictions don't continue that are currently in place due to uh, anti-dumping and countervailing di issues with Chinese. Well, the European Union market is another challenge for U.S. exporters. Uh, after many years, the uh, U.S. is still shut out there. Where do we stand? Well, uh, shut out is a, is a pretty good term, Gary. We actually have one uh, integrator that has uh, made access to the European market, but it's again, it's about antimicrobial use and uh, the fact that the Europeans do not allow the use of antimicrobials in poultry processing. Uh, the United States currently has a WTO case with the Europeans on the acceptance of four currently used antimicrobials in the U.S. poultry industry. Well, with all of these uh, problems around the world in uh, potential markets, uh, uh, where do you see our exports uh, going 20 years from now? I'm glad you asked. I think uh, uh, our industry has notoriously looked in the past as to how we treat our export markets. And I think maybe uh, the current situation with Russia and with China and the uh, European Union have provoked the, U the U.S. poultry producers into looking at other alternatives for our exports. Uh, we would hope that uh, China would be a future partner, uh, a continued partner, and we could increase their consumption. Uh, with poultry or with uh, population forecast showing to increase in India, we would hope that the Middle East and, and India would be a future market as well. Thank you very much, Mark. It's my pleasure. Thank you, Gary.